everyone, this is Phantom Do the same today I'm gonna be doing What if Deku was hated by class 1A and was in the surf of the end? And this is gonna be my uh, 100 subscribers special. So thank you guys for helping me get to 100 subscribers. This is going to be one of my series that I wanted it to do, but and I haven't seen people do either because I was watching one of the series that was What if Deku was hated by Class 1A and was in Plunder? So I had my own idea to make it. Uh, then we're gonna start a story off on a regular normal day where Izuku is just sitting down in class looking down on his test saying to himself Why? Why is everything happening to me? Am I not worth? Am I not worth to do anything in this world? Am I not strong enough to be in this world? Or am I just a worthless one like Bakugo said? So we're gonna go back a few days. This was the day when All Might was coming in. As he said, I'm walking in like a normal person. Hello, Mr. Arizawa. Can I please talk like, can I please talk to young Midori? Uh, as All Might, as All Might said to Aizawa, as Aizawa said, yes, yes, you may. As then Deku got up and went with All Might. Then we skip a few minutes. All my and Isuku were were talking. As Isuku said, "So what do you need, All my?" As All my said, "Young Midoriya, may I please have my quirk back?" Then Deku, then Deku started to feel sad. As Deku asked, "Why, All my?" As All my said, "You are not fit to be my successor." You are, aren't even strong enough to wield my quirk. Uh, then Izuku said, was it because of the USJ? As All Might said, yes, it's Midoriya. Sorry guys, about that. I'm gonna pop, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm thinking. Then he said, yes, you, you couldn't even, you weren't even strong enough to help me be, to help me be the normal. As we go back a few days later, or months, a few months later, Izuku, Izuku was was about to attack the Nomos, just as in the anime. As everything went not the same, but this time All oh Might said that, said this, as we come back to present time, All oh Might said just because of that, I need my court back and I'm going to give it to young Bakugo. As Deku said, so you're gonna give it a Bakugo for what? As All Might says, Bakugo is a better successor than you. He has control over his quirk and he has better talent than you. As All Might, All Might was happy that he took it away from all you, such a worthless successor. Then, then. Then Mr. Arizawa heard this and was sad. He wanted to help Isuku, but he didn't say anything. Then Isuku came back in class, he was sad. As then all as then all my Mr. Arizawa, Nesu and Midnight went came in and said, Okay everyone, we are going to the USJ once again. As everyone said, but why? Didn't we just get attacked by it last time? As all my, as all my said, we fix it and we put and we put more security so we will be going. As everyone, before they could answer, they looked at Deku and gave him angry glares. Deku already knew what they were giving him angry glares. The normal was able to hurt all my a lot more because because he wasn't even able to even kill the normal or even use his quirk without breaking his bone as all my all my saw those glares and started to give his own glare to Deku the glare was given to Deku and already knew what he was what is that as is that as Deku just remind himself worthless user of one for all as all the one for all's user 
hate it, hate it, uh, how do we say this? Hate it, all my, as all my was starting to wonder why weren't the one for all user talking to him as the one for all user suddenly grabbed all my to his consciousness as all my was standing in front of all the one for all user as the one for all user said as the one for all user said you are a useless successor and you are a worthless piece of trash Toshinari you are the wait a minute wait let me think let's say you are the worst just as you are the rudest and angriest person you didn't even believe your own successor and didn't even try to train him to see if we will become strong Toshinari we are disappointed in you so try to live try to live because i think some we know something's gonna happen to you in this field trip as all my was saying wait what what is gonna happen as they all told him you'll soon find out toshinari in an angry tone as they kicked him out of his consciousness as all my was in front of everyone as everyone started to say okay then we go to the outside. Everyone was walking into the bus. As all of them were in the bus. They started to ride off to the USJ as they got into a bridge. Once they reached into the bridge, a portal opened up. It wasn't Cordogary. It was a portal. A giant, a giant bluish, grayish building size buildings and a giant bluish grayish building view portal uh everyone in class when they were confused because all they saw were buildings a blue sky and all was broken down then all my all my mr zawa nesu and and midnight were saying Everyone, get in your battle stands as the god of this world, which I'm gonna call, since in that world there, there, there wasn't any god when I watched the anime. Yes, I didn't read the manga yet. I just wanted to do it based on the anime. So, I'm gonna do it all the way to the parts that I saw in the anime. So, this god is gonna be named Sono or Seno. Yes, I know that's the name for Dragon Ball, so I'm gonna call him Seno. Then the god appeared in front of everyone, destroying the bus and putting everyone in a floating platform. As All Might, Principal Nesu, Midnight, and Aizawa were in their battle stance as Class 1A. Even Izuku, a person who is quirkless, is in his battle stance. As, and I forgot to say, the only people that are, that, that believe he still can become a hero is, ah, uh, my eyes, sorry guys, I don't have my eyes open, as the person that can believe that Isuku, that believe Isuku could become something is, is, hmm, Aizawa, Midnight, and Nesu. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. I don't want to add all my... You already know why I'm not adding him. As All Might said, as I saw what and I said, saw Isuku putting a fighting stand, as he was saying, I am proud of Problem Child. He is, he has no quirk, but he's at least trying. As All Might, as All Might was saddened, no, not All Might, as Midnight and Nesu were proud and were a bit scared that Something bad will happen to Isuku. Then the god came up, who was named Seno. As Seno said, "Put your fight, put your fighting stand down. You won't survive. You won't survive even if you try to punch me." As all my yelled out, "How can we trust you? You might work for all for one." As the god 
started to laugh. <laughs> How can I work for such a lowly class villain? Don't you see a halo on my head? As a circleish, yellowish ring appear on his head, and then white robes appear over his body. As they all said, "Your God." As he said, "Bingo." I am the god of the world you'll be going to. Since your world no longer needs you, all for one will be dead and everyone will live in peace. peace. But all for one will no longer need you. The world will no, no longer need you. As Hisuku was thinking in his head, as he said, So, you're technically saying, as everyone heard Isuku speak up, you're technically saying that in our world, all for one was killed by you, and there's no more villains roaming around. You fixed our world, so then that means that heroes are just for low class criminals. As pause. Okay, like I was last saying. Everyone, like I said, everyone was listening to Izuku, as Izuku said that in our world, all for one died, the top villains are no longer there, so there's no more League of Villains. Then the god said, yes, young man. Yeah, I forgot to say, the only person that might have the highest chance of surviving would be you. As everyone looked at the god with a, with a are you stupid look, as the god looked at him and said, if you all guys think I'm stupid, you'll find out in that world. Then all my started to say, all my, explain to me. No, not all my. God, as all my said to God, God explain to me. Why do you need us in this world? Then God started to say, oh, I'm gonna need you in this world because you guys are the strongest people I could find, I could find in this. As Toshinari, I saw when this with midnight, everybody in class when they started to say strongest as they all look at Teku with are you and then looked at God with a, with a look saying are you dumb as God just shrugged it off and said anyway, in this world I couldn't help the people on the battle fight for their lives the only humans left in this whole world are the Japan Demon Corporation and and the uh, there's vampires killing them all but I'm gonna send all of you to help them first I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you two wishes one wish the first wish will be your most powerful wish your second wish will be an idol wish as we go to first Nessu, because I like Principal Nessu, even though he's an animal, I like him. As Nessu, as we, as Nessu gets an uh, item pop, as he grabbed it, as he opened it up and said, I wish to be able to transform into a human and an animal of any mythical creature. creature. As the second wish, I wish for a scythe. As Nessu got a scythe, as he just turned it into a key and put it in his pocket, as Nessu suddenly transformed into a full grown adult. A tall one with blonde hair, blue eyes, no, with white hair and red eyes, no, with white hair and black eyes, because when he was a rat, he had it black eyes. As everything was going great. Then, oh my, oh my said, I wish for uh, eternal gener regeneration, aka immortality, and I wish for, and I wish for gloves, as oh my god, gloves that are cursed with heavenly powers, that only work when he fights. So it's something like this, you put on the gloves and you have a lot of super strength. Then it comes with Aizawa. 
I saw what says, I wish for absolute zero. As Aizawa said, for my second wish, I wish for change. Chain. As chain appeared on his hand, and as he just wrapped it around his body and said, Huh, oh, that's better. Then Bakugo. As Bakugo said, I wish for my quirk one for all and explosion to mix into one. As Bakugo one for all and explosion mix into one. So that technically means that when he uses one for all, his quirk explosion will be the most will be more powerful than anything in the whole world. Then the second wish that I have would be I mean the second wish that Bakugo would wish for would be I would he says I wish that I had my gloves from my from my hero costume that give me a boost of explosion. As the gloves appear in Bakugo's hands as Bakugo says Yes Then the rest of the glass wish for the same thing they had in the world Others wish for money, others wish for a lot of food, others wish for the same thing. Others wish for their own thing, which I'm not going to explain, because that is not going to be part of the story. And I forgot to say, the people that did, that did like Isuku were Mr. Isawa, Nesu, oh, I forgot, Midnight. Midnight wished for manipulation over every type of gas. So that means that she can control a gas or summon a gas to control the second one would be I wish for for hmm what item would be perfectly good for some oh pistols no a bow no since men is a since midnight is a close range person hmm I oh, forgot about it. I'm gonna give you her pistols. Uh, so midnight wish for pistols. Then the persons that I was gonna explain that I believe in Isuku were Nesu, Mr. Hisaya, Midnight. How am I gonna do bad to Kurishima? He's my one of my favorite characters after Isuku. Midnight no Kurishima. What should I say should be the ship? But uh, I don't know. Mm. If you guys heard that, I'm sorry. I just did that on purpose. But you guys pick a ship from one of the enemies. Pick one from the Seraph of the End or a ship from Class 1A. No, 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 no. No, not from class 1A. Pick a random ship from any other class from one for one from one from instead of one for eight or you can pick one from the surf of the end. You can pick one from there, but a ship has to be from a different class, not from 1A. Kurishima, Momo, Jiro, and Moneta. He's a perp. Why would he betray anybody? <laughs> uh, the only reason why I'm letting the perp believe in Izuku is because I want to leave him alive to make Izuku, Izuku's life a bit interesting. As oh, the rest of the class hates him, even all my. As and then we go to Izuku. Izuku had his eyes closed. As he said, "I wish for power." As the wish cancel, as the wish just came out of nowhere and appeared in front of him. As something said, do you wish for power? Will you help this world and become the one that would end it or bring it? Then Yusuku said, I will be the one that will help the people to end the race. As the wish, as the thing in front of him smiled, showing more light, then Yusuku smiled back. As, as he could grab, got his wish. The wish was something that none, none of the people in this world, none of the people in this world would understand he is. The first one would be 
of being a demon, 30% of being an angel, and 40% of being a vampire. So that means he's the ultimate seraph of the end. So technically, in the story, if you can have vampire, demon, and the blood of a vampire, because the main character already had a blood of a vampire, and they did experiments, experiments with demons on him, so he became a seraph of the end. And since this guy's half angel, oh god, he's gonna become the ultimate, uh, the ultimate. I might as well say once I get later to the battles, he's gonna become the ultimate seraph of the end. As Isuku, as Isuku suddenly felt a change on him, Isuku grabbed, pushed his hair, and saw that it was a bit black by the tips. As Isuku just smiled, as he, as his teeth grew bigger, uh, Isuku licked his tongue and felt the th and felt the same thing as he smiled. And yes, his eyes will will go red. The red you see on the screen, that this is Isuku, his eyes will go red when when he uses his vampire side. So you won't see his eyes go red for a long time. And yes, this is the 100 subscriber special. So thank you everyone. That's I forgot to say. As Isuku, his second wish, he wished for a sword. As the wish brought him this sword, the sword that you see on the screen over there. Since my favorite sword is the Sasuke one when he was an adult, because you're able to engulf it with anything, I really wanted to give him a, a Japanese original sword, but I've, I thought about a Naruto sword, and I really like this type of blade. So I'm giving him the Sasuke blade. Sasuke adult blade. So yeah. His sword, his sword will be holding back his demon side. His angel and vampire will be inside inside him still. But yeah, even if the sword is being taken away from him, he'll, his demon side, his demon side, will automatically make the sword get dragged into him. As Isuku smiled at the sword and put it behind his back, where his waist to his back side of the bottom part is that like Sasuke but he'll have it like Sasuke when he was in the door on his back and he'll be just walking around as everyone saw the sword that he got then they all started to say that sword isn't powerful it doesn't have any feeling or anger and the reason why the demon side isn't showing any strength or hatred or power in it is because Isuku is mm, Isuku can talk to the sword because some swords and enemy you're able to talk to and Isuku has his demon side in there he just made the sword have his own side because he gave his demon side to the sword and he when he wished for it, the person who wished in there mm, who wished in there Gave life to the sword, so the sword only answered to him as the sword speaks up to Isuku and said, Hello there, young man. What should I call you? As the young as Isuku was, wow. Hi, I'm Isuku Midoriya. Then the sword smiled. They didn't smile, but smiled inside of his head and said, I am, um, you should call me whatever you want. Then Izuku said, then I will call you Slay. Slay Modoria. You will have my family name. As the sword sm smiled in his head and said, thank you, master. As Izuku said, you can, we can just call ourselves friends. Then he said, very well, very well. I shall call you friend. Thank you, my friend. Then he said to smile at the sword and said, You're welcome, Slay. Then Slay went and said, I shall be teaching you 
how to survive in this world if anything bad happens to you. Then Izuku just said thank you again. As Izuku was pretty happy about this. As everyone saw the blade and were confused, they thought Izuku wished for power to help him survive. As the old said in the head, yeah, he's just a useless one. The one who doesn't even have power to help himself. As Izuku heard this, from them mumbling as he got angry as the sword said if I was you all calm down you have so much power that them over there or that god over there will just die as Izuku said okay I will when before Izuku let go of his anger and suppress it back in his sword he was releasing his demon side so Izuku has has his red eyes open, so everyone saw Izuku's red eyes as they said, is that part of the power he wish or something? As the red eyes just disappear, as everyone said, hmm, might as well be a fake power. Last time, Izuku and everyone thank said thank you God for giving us the wish, as Izuku Bow down to the god and said, Thank you for the want to wishes. I think that's how the Suku just smile. Wait, I'm gonna do a quick pause. As the god smile of everyone and said, You, you guys are welcome and please help, help this world. Train and make sure one guy in this world doesn't destroy it. Looking at his speaking and Another person, his name will be shown up to you once you join the Demon Corporation. And as God, as God or San Jose, may you guys live a well living life in this world and may you all get stronger. This platform will take you to the world. This world's called the Vampire Region. Once you get there, the world, this portal will take you straight there. And one more thing, if you, if one of you guys get off from here, we won't be able to find you for a while, and we won't be able to notify. We will be notified that we found you over. Mm. Wait, wait a minute. Pause. Like I was saying, the God said that we'll get notified that you haven't found a year or two later. I started with not as Bakugo got a grin on his face as he looked at Isuku and sat and told everyone to huddle in. As even Nasu, no, as even All Might came in and said, So what is a young Bakugo? As Bakugo said, How about we put, how about we get rid of how about we get rid of that quick list nerd as all my agree with this and said yes you are right yes. okay i'm gonna pass you guys heard any more noise i'm um, back i'm sorry i had to wait that i'm gonna return to where i was saying all my go and everyone else got a plan they waited until the god disappeared as Bakugo decided to stand behind Isuku. As, as Isuku saw Slay said, You know they're gonna push you off this place, right? As Isuku said to Slay, Yes, I would. I know they are. I'm just gonna let it happen so I can find the guy that is as powerful as me. Then Isuku smiled and said, May you all wish alive. Good life, Mr. I don't want Nessu and and Midnight. As Midnight Mr. I don't want Nessu heard this and said, What do you mean, Izuku? As as Bakugo pushed them off the pushed them off the platform. As Mr. Izawa got so pissed that he grabbed Bakugo, put him by the edge of the platform and said you bastard. Why would you do that to him? Uh, then All Might came up and said, Why? 
Why are you doing this to young Bakugo? Bakugo, Aizawa. As Aizawa said, didn't you see what he did to our student? He threw him off. We won't be able to find him for at least two or three years. As Omai said, he has a, he has a reason, Aizawa. You know he wasn't going to help us to survive in this world. As Aizawa said, but didn't you see how his eyes went red and that, that sword he had in? You know that he could have got him powerful. And then as, as Omai started to think about this, think about this, and started to have second thoughts when he shrugged it off and said, still, he was useless. As Aizawa was just, just looked at Omai, gave him a glare as his eyes went reddish, greenish, and bluish, and then disappear. And then the colors disappear. As Nasu was disappointed in Omai. Midnight just wanted to kill him. Because she she already got she already got the memories of a good pistol user in that world. I am gonna just make them have the memories because then the practice and the skill become good. As midnight got the memories of a good pistol user, so she could easily just kill him. And so as Nessa could easily chop his teeth off and Mr. Azawa could easily kill all three of them with two of his big things. Absolute cancel. He can always just snap and turn his quirk off and be like, Now, nah, what are you going to do, you useless person? As he can just snap back and let the... And put his work quirk back into him. And he even has a chain around him so he can wrap, wrap him, then beat him, then just... Throw him side to side because of the chain's super strength. As as I always just wanted to hold back his power and said, "I'll leave him alone for now." But if he comes back and he's not alive, I will kill Bakugo, and I will go with to the other side and kill you all. As an as one midnight said, I will do the same because you killed a student who did not deserve this. As Omai was getting mad, as he just said, Fine, go with that worthless one. As the one for all's user pushed Omai back into his consciousness and said, You bastard, what do you think you're doing? You think we're gonna let you use one for all because of this? As the one for all users. One for all users started to started to laugh and said, You did not see that kid's powers in his red eyes. Didn't you see his hair was changing? As all my started to think about it and said and said, What are you thinking about? As all the Morpher user looked at him and said, You'll see soon enough. When that kid kills you, we'll just tell him to give us to Mr. Aizawa. And he'll use us better than you do. And now you'll only be able to use 50%. Enjoy your gloves, you worthless traitors. Not a good trainer, bastard. As they all were mad as mad at Toshinari, aka Oh My, for letting one. Have his old successors get killed for no good reason. As 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 oh my got kicked out of his mindscape and said, "Why were those old guys talking about?" As he tried to activate one for all one hundred percent, but it cracked all his bones. As he said, "I can't go one hundred percent anymore." Ah, uh, as he saw that it. Only let him go to 50%. As the one for all user laughed at him and said, You are weaker than us now, All my As All my was mad and said, Why are you not letting me go? 100% why? As All my as All my didn't get any answer. He was just there looking 
She's speaking to herself as Bakugo looked at him and said, Are you okay? As All Might said, Yes, I'm fine. And then Bakugo couldn't even go 100% either. He was only able to go 60%. I'm gonna pause. Okay, I'm back. Now we're gonna go to... Oh my god, I'm gonna pause. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm gonna say it's... It's gonna be... As we come back to Deku. Deku was just falling and falling as he said, Hey, Slay. And Slay said, yeah. Should I activate? Should I start flying now? As Slay said, you can go. Start flying now. That's one of your basic skills. You will learn how to fly over the sky much better. As Deku was about to activate his powers, he was teleported to a certain place. A place where no other people could be at. No, a place where all my midnight, everyone in Kasumi was supposed to be at, but they'll get there in a few days. Isuku was in the middle of the city where the Japan, Japan, Japan Demon Slayer Corps was at, as they said. As Isuku, as Isuku started to, to walk, then, then the then one of the four horsemen of dawn came out and went and wanted it to attack Isu. As Slay said to Izu, kill them with one of my abilities. It's gonna be called, it's gonna be the same styles, it's gonna be the same thing as Yui, Yui from the Seraph of the End, the main character Yui. It's gonna be one of his abilities, but it won't be named the same. He's, he's gonna be called Power Release Slay. As uh, so then Isuku jumped up and slashed six slashes at the four, hus four horsemen of dawn. As the four horsemen of dawn was killed off with only one slash, ripping it apart into six. As uh, so Isuku said, I'm gonna be able to use this power on my base, as he Slay said. Yes, you may. It's a simple. It's a simple ability. Uh, then Slay, then Slay said to Suku, "We're gonna need to. We're gonna need to train on your swordsmanship." As Slay and Suku spent at least one year training on their swordsmanship. As we skip one year, we're gonna skip a year behind. All my class 1A and principal Nessus and the stars all one midnight were already at uh, the Demon Slayer Corporation as 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 Jesus Christ I keep saying as <laughs> it feels like I'm saying that all the time then Mizarzawa was the first one to get in front of the corporation of the Demon Slayer the Demon Slayer started to say the Demon Slayer Corporation of Japan of the of the serve of the end started to say why are you guys here? are you guys planning to join the corporation? then suddenly the corporation got a message got a message from the leaders of the demons of the Japan Corporation of Demon Vampire Division. Ah, oh, Jesus, I forgot the name of the corporation again. <laughs> oh, I have to set you that up so many times. This is called the Japan Demon Corporation. As the uh, guards said, okay, you guys may come in. We got the message. As then I saw was snotted at this. Then everyone followed Aizawa as Aizawa, Nezu, and Midnight started to walk. And then, then who, then who, what was his name again? 
Then the leader of the corporation came out and said, Welcomes, welcome champions. Uh, I'm gonna pause real. Thank you. De welcome champions. We are. We heard that you were here, summoned by our, by our gods to help us. Then, then the Dina Corporation said, "You are three adults, Nasu, Aizawa, Midnight, and All oh my I'm gonna pause. Like I was saying, Nasu, Aizawa, Midnight, and All oh my the four adults will become captains of the." Captains of the leaders of these groups. Since it was only the whole class on it, it will be Midnight, Aizawa, and and All Might. Nesu will be with the leader. As the leader said, Nesu, you will become one of my second hand men. As Nesu smiled at this and said, thank you. Then Aizawa speaked up and said, can you help us find one of our students? He will set off the place that we were coming from, and I think he might be lost in the city. So if we ever find a black-haired boy, because his hair started to change once he wished for something. So can you please find, if you ever find a black-haired boy, capture him and bring him. Then the leader nodded at this and said, this is all we can do for the guys who will be helping us save humankind then oh my god pissed and just shaked it off and said i know he won't be alive as Bakugo did the same as the leader just looked at class 1a and said you will all be going to the demon the academy to become vampire slayers you will be going to the academy to join a uh, I'm gonna look at the picture that I have on the screen. One, two, three, four, five. It was a five-man team. So, so class one A will be in five different teams. With will be it will be the whole class one A with I saw one as midnight and oh my, Fa all the whole class one A yeah like that and I'll be. Yugi, God, I forgot the name of the other ones. Wait, 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 wait. Yui, the girl with purple hair, then the boy with pink hair, then the orange one, and then the brown one. Then on the next episode, I'll learn their names. But we'll be focused more on the per the girl with the purple hair and the one with the black hair. His name is Yui. That's the only one that I remember. How, how cool of me. <laughs> So yeah, like I was saying, then we go to Deku. Then we go back to present time. It has been a year. Deku was was finished with his training. He has a good master over his swordsmanship, and remembers, and he has vampire, angel blood, and and demon blood. He can learn fast, so he knows his swordsmanship better than Yui himself. Then, then Yusuke's hair turned fully black over this year, and his eyes started to turn red the more he used his demon side and his vampire side. His angel side would just make his, his body fully turn into the Soul King, the one that you see on the almost the last part of the Seraph of the End, where you it turns into the Soul Power. Oh god. I am going to be making this series get so great. I am going to have two soul pillars where one has the ability to turn any item into a vehicle or the weapons or he could even change his wings. The wings instead of being black, it'll be... Mm, <laughs> I'll make him have two six angel wings color black the same as the same he'll be his own when he uses his his hmm, let's say when he uses his 
So King Peter form of angels of his trumpet, he'll turn into the, he'll have black wings the same as Yui, and he'll have, when he uses his fifth trumpet, he'll have, mm, let's say, he'll have, uh, he'll have six wings, color, color, color red. Color red with mm. color red with red with red eyes and white hair, and said, and his abilities will be to be, they'll be the same thing as his soul soul pay, soul pillar phone, and he'll have, and he can summon four horsemen of dawn. I don't know. To kill the, anything that he gets in his ways. As, as Wisuku was, Wisuku said to to Slay, can you train me on using my demon demon form? A lot of times. Can you train me to can you train me to use my demon form much better where I can grow my horns? And my eyes will be red whenever I say without the horns. As Isuku said, as Isuku said to Slay, as Slay said, yes, since you, since your demon form resides on me, I'll, I technically learn everything from me. So I'll be able to teach you how to control it. Your angel and demon form, no, your angel and vampire form. You'll, you'll technically be able to control your vampire form pretty well. The vampire form is technically you right now. So your eyes, red eyes are probably, will probably, are probably covered by the red eyes of your, black eyes of your, so you still have the slit of a vampire in your eye. So you'll be able to have the super strength and the dutch ability of your Vampire form, and you have the super speed and your super strength of a vampire. As you should go small at this and say, I'll be able to hear faster, can I? As Slay said, Yes, you can. As you should go small at this and say, Good, now, I t now it's time to go. Now it's time to go. And yes, the closer you see in the screen, Will be the one Isuku will be wearing when he joins the corporation. So he technically only has the white shirt on and the church and the cross on his earring. And uh, the thing you see in his neck won't he won't have it. That thing on his neck he won't have it. The ring he will have it because you'll find it somewhere on the way. Killing a vampire. You'll be saying, huh. As Isuku decided to use his the speed of his vampire form and started to run. As he was running around the place that he was at, he encountered another force, four horsemen of dawn. As he said, not a fate. fate. As six to seven sore, swords of fear appear around him. As Izuku pointed out the four horsemen of dawn and killed them, killed all four of them. As Izuku said, huh, they dropped something. As he grabbed it and saw a ring on it. As Izuku just put the ring on and went to and went on with his day. As he kept walking, he said, hmm. Maybe I should try another prison. As he started looking for another four horsemen of dawn, as Isuku saw a vampire wearing a watch, and a watch and the rubber on the headband that you see on his hand with the cross on it too, that, that's what he finds in that person. I, said, I like him, maybe I should kill him. As he said, let's try this ability. Infinite Phantom Blade. Infinite Phantom Blades. As the infinite phantom blades appear on him, as he pointed out the vampire 
As the vampire saw this coming from a mile away, as he tried to dodge, but Isuku said, Good try, as Isuku just stabbed the vampire, twisted the sword, slashed his hair, took his sword, put it back on his pocket, put it back on the sheath, and said, Thank you for the watch and the thing. And as he put it on and said, Now I'm good. As Isuku, as Isuku saw a jacket that was. It's the same jacket with the white shirt that he has on, that black jacket. Yusuku just put it on his on his shoulders and said, Oh, now I have a full clothes on. Let's get a move on to find the corporation. As Izuku was walking around as he said, I give up as he jumped up and started to jump around the walls. Not jump around the wall, started to jump up the roof and roof and roof as fast as he can. As Slay said, a hundred miles away will reach the corporation. As Izuku said, okay. Okay guys, I'll be leaving it off here. Thank you guys for watching my video. This is going to be the 100 subscriber special. And I know that I'm at 121, so thank you so much for 121 subscribers. This is going to be one of my favorite series because I have been watching The Seraph of the End for like, I haven't watched it for like a month, but I've been starting to watch it over again. And I liked it, so I'll be doing part two of this tonight when I watch the, when I watch the second when I watch the first part of the anime in the second, when I learn the, no, forget about what I say. I I will be do hope. I will be uploading it today. Today, so thank you for one hundred and twenty one subscribers, and hope you enjoy the series.